Fimmvörðuháls is a mountain ridge between the glaciers Eyjafjallajökull and Mýrdalsjökull in South Iceland. The path across the ridge from Skóar to Þorsmörk is among the most popular hiking paths in the country. It is 22 kilometers long and has an elevation of 1,000 meters. The south north route is especially beautiful because there are unusually many waterfalls in the Skóa river and the view of the highland oasis of Þorsmörk on the way down from the ridge is breathtaking. On March 20, 2010, a volcanic eruption began on Fimvörðuháls, which lasted until April 12. The lava flow from the crater formed a 200-meter-long lava fall, which cascaded into the canyons Hrunagil and Kvannargil. Two mounds were formed around the craters, which have been given the names Magni and Mode. In July, the hiking route across Fimvörðuháls was reopened, with a new path being marked across the new lava, which is still hot and steaming. Glowing red magma can be spotted in crevices. Inge Rúnar Bragason, a cabin guard at Bausar in Þorsmörk, said the hike across the new landscape on Fimvörðuháls is unique. It is a magnificent sight. Foreigners who come here are at loss for words when describing the experience, he told Pressan.is in late July, expressing his surprise that many more foreign tourists than Icelanders had hiked across the new lava. The following is an excerpt from the article The Volcanic Eruption in Fimvörðuháls by volcanologist Haraldur Sigurdsson at the Volcano Museum in Stikkisholmur, West Iceland, published in the print edition of Iceland Review, issue IR 48.01-2010. Once again, we are thoroughly reminded by a natural disaster that Iceland is a very active volcanic country. The eruption in Fimvörðuháls, starting just before midnight, 20th March, had a long prelude. In 1994, a series of earthquakes under the volcano started at a depth ranging from 5 to 14 kilometers. The seismic activity occurred again in 1996, 1999 and 2000. Then it became evident that magma was breaking through deep from the Earth's mantle, but it had stopped in the middle of the Earth's crust. In June, white spots were noticed in the river Kvannau and have been monitored by scientists since. They were created when carbon dioxide from the lava was carried into the river. Such precipitations are common in the geyser area, but very rare in cold water. Gases make the area dangerous, though.